Hi, I'm Matt, and this is Cook Like a Master, the show where we take the world's greatest chefs, food writers, and home cooks and show you how to cook like them. Today we're making Mark Bittman's Chinese style chicken soup. It's a very simple and easy recipe. I can't wait to try it with you. Let's show you how to do it. For this recipe, you will need one bunch of scallions, also called green onions, a few carrots, and three celery ribs. Cut the carrots into rounds and chop the green onions and celery into one inch pieces. You'll also need a quarter cup of soy sauce. I'm using reduced sodium soy sauce. One bay leaf. 10 black peppercorns and two cloves. Three to four pounds chicken. I'm using breast and thigh and six to eight cup stock. Store-bought is fine, although I will say I made this recipe with homemade and it was absolutely amazing. Grab a stock pot. Go ahead and get your chicken in there. You wanna cover the chicken with chicken stock so that it's completely covering the meat. Six to eight cups is usually good. If you're using a whole chicken, you wanna make sure that it completely covers by at least an inch. There we go. Go ahead and get the cloves and black peppercorns in, along with the bay leaf and the soy sauce. Get this up to a boil. And as soon as it starts boiling, you just want to knock it down to a simmer. Once you've got your soup to a boil, go ahead and put a cover on it, reduce the heat down to a simmer, and let that cook undisturbed for 15 minutes. Go ahead and add the veggies. <laughs> Very carefully. Put the lid back on and go ahead and cook that for 10 to 20 minutes until the veggies are cooked through and the chicken's done. So this soup is almost done. The chicken is completely cooked through and the veggies are nice and tender. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the chicken into a bowl and we're gonna shred this. It's kind of like pulled pork, but it's pulled chicken. We're gonna take a fork and just tear it into shreds. We're also gonna get the veggies out of the soup as well, because what we wanna do is we're gonna reduce the broth so it intensifies the flavor. And we'll show you how to do that in a second. Now, we're going to get the veggies out. Get a strainer or something. This is called a spider. It just Make sure you don't get any of the cloves or black peppercorns in there. The veggies look really good. They're nice and bright. Like I said, we're using store-bought chicken stock for this. You could actually use water if you wanted to. There's enough flavor here that you could do that. It's obviously gonna be better with stock, but you're not gonna go wrong with using water if that's all you have. All right, that's good enough. Let's go ahead and get that bay leaf out of the way. Last step is to strain the broth. So we've got a big bowl here. I'm gonna put a sieve right in the bowl, and then we're just gonna strain the broth. You don't want any kind of bits and pieces in here, any of the spices. All right. There we go. We're gonna put the stock back in Turn the burner on high 
and we just want this to bubble down. So make note of where the level is right now and you want to reduce it down about a quarter um, down. So that's going to take about 15-20 minutes and we'll show you what it looks like when we do that. Let's take a look at our stock. As you can see it's reduced down. Here's the level that it was and now it's here. I tasted the broth already it's perfect. Um, if it wasn't, if it needed salt or more soy sauce, you could go ahead and do that. So let's get off the heat. We don't need it to simmer anymore. We're going to shred the chicken. The easiest way to do that is just to get a couple forks and just make it in the little pieces. Once your chicken is shredded, you are ready to go ahead and put this together. So we're going to start with a little bit of veggies. I'm going to show you how to plate this, like so, get a little bit of chicken, go ahead and put that in there, perfect, and then get a little bit of broth, Just put that on top like that. All right, that was Mark Bittman's Deconstructed Chinese Soup. It made the house fill with soy sauce and chicken and it was amazing. I can't wait to try this with you. Let's get a little bit of everything here. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so insanely good. That is restaurant quality, better than restaurant quality. That was amazing. We just did this at home. I hope you saw how easy it was to do it. We'll see you in the next video.